Hello guys, so today we're here for a partner full body workout. Me and my partner are at Planet Fitness and we're just about to get it in with a nice little ab full body circuit. So right now we're doing burpees for about 30 seconds. Every exercise that we're going to do today is going to be about 30 seconds or less. And we're actually doing everything three times. So we're going to go over each exercise if you want to follow along. Just make sure you set your timer to 30 seconds and focus on your breathing. Don't give up on yourself. If you need to slow down, slow down, but don't stop. Okay guys, so this is the beginning of the ab circuit. We're focusing on keeping that core tight. Keep that chest up. Don't let go of the ball. Don't drop the ball for 30 seconds. Keep, you know, switching between your feet and your arms with those balls. Always make sure that you come up and get that ball. Don't get lazy. Don't put your feet on the ground. Don't get lazy, guys. Stay focused. Stay motivated. Breathe through because it's going to burn. Just breathe. And you got it. I promise. So these are Russian twists. Um, partner Russian twists normally just consist of your partner like tossing the ball to each other. But for the sake of this video, we actually weren't able to record that. So we got our individual Russian twists. But if you would like to do it with a partner, just sit side to side by each other and toss the ball to each other. Keep your legs up. Remember, don't touch the ground. Use the resistance band to hold your legs up, guys. It, it is very helpful to me. Maybe it'll be helpful to you. Starfish right here, which is just alternating your left hand with your um, right foot and your right hand with your left foot. Opposite hand to feet. Right here, we're going to be isolating the glutes, getting our glutes warmed up for our lifting. And I'm just doing a mixture of leg lifts and dog kicks. <laughs> I like to call them dog kicks. I did about 50 on each leg. After a while, I stopped counting. I was just trying to feel the burn, but I recommend about 40 on each leg of every exercise. Um, the resistance bands are optional, but those are really what's going to help you get those gains that you're looking for if you're looking to develop more glutes or more stamina in your glutes. <laughs> So yeah, guys, just focus on keeping that leg up, keep that heel in the air, focus on that breathing, focus on your form, because form is everything, and um, focus on that burn, you feel that burn, you're doing it right, for those of you who have resistance bands like mine, put your knee over the resistance band, it made everything easier for me, I was able to have more control over my leg, I didn't have to worry about it sliding up and down, it was just perfect, it was everything was burning. So yes, guys, I hope you guys enjoy my little resistance booty workout. You can do this every day for games. Just increase the size that you want to do. Um, some people do with weights. You can add weight if you like to. You can add two resistance bands if you would like to. Challenge yourself, man. Challenge yourself. I recommend this exercise for anyone. This is for anyone that's trying to get a booty in any type of way. Focus on the glutes. Focus on keeping that heel up. We're about to start lifting, but first, of course, me being me, I've got to show you guys my sweat. I was sweating so much, and I was so proud of myself. Before I even started lifting, I was sweating so bad. <laughs> so, yes, guys, if you're not putting in work, it's because you're not sweating. And if you're not sweating, it's because you're not putting in work. So, yeah, I'll just 
stay motivated, guys. Okay? The next thing that we're about to move forward to is regular squats and solo squats and deadlifts and good mornings. So, right here, I'm doing about three sets of 15, three sets of 20. Sometimes I do 20, 15, 12. Sometimes I do 20, 20, and then 15. So, it just really was alternated. Um, I didn't record everything. I just recorded, like, the first few sets that I did. Stay um, up. You can use as many ways as you would like. I personally use 45 on each side for this. Um, if you're in the beginner stage, I recommend that you use 10 or less or 25 or less, just depending on your expertise as far as lifting. Um, the goal is to keep your chest forward and you want to keep your feet pointed at like an angle. You want to be right under the bar. You don't want to be over the bar or have your legs over the bar. You want to be right under the bar and you want to squeeze those glutes every time you come up, every time you go down. You should breathe in and then when you come up, you should breathe out. Focus on keeping that chest up because you don't want to start working your back. You always want to work your legs and your glutes. The chest part is going to really help you as far as targeting your glutes. You're really going to feel it. Um, the resistance band was optional as well. I just used that to add a little more resistance as far as me coming up so I can feel the burn more. Um, this is the exercise I like to use to sculpt my body. This helps with my hips. This helps with my thighs. This helps my booty. getting really buff as females we tend to run from those type of things but it's very important to lift um if you're trying to lose weight it will help you lose your stomach it's very beneficial it's not just for men it's very good to work your upper body as well ladies um i did a little bit of rowing in between and back exercises in between each set i do recommend throwing that in there because you never want to work too hard on one area so um they search as basic deadlifts. Well, these are good mornings. And yeah, I hope you guys like this video. Subscribe, thumbs it up if you guys liked it. I really worked hard for you guys. And I plan on bringing more fitness videos to you. So yeah, thank you. Thumbs it up.